Now Central Oregon's local alert weather with Katie Suniga. Our fire weather warning was upgraded to a red flag warning, also known as a fire weather warning. Right now it is only in place until midnight, but when we take a look at that future track, you'll see that there's a really good chance that this will be extended at least through the afternoon tomorrow, maybe even into the early evening because we are expecting to see showers and some thunderstorms all the way until about six o'clock tomorrow. We have had some air quality alerts going on. Guess what? The one that was supposed to end today has been extended until Saturday. Now here's a look at where most of the heat signatures are showing on our map and even with the thunderstorms and the showers that are coming through, we're not expecting it to be enough to clear things out for us. Our winds right now have been rather light for most of the region until you get closer to the southern part of Central Oregon. That's where our winds have been in the 20 to 25 mile per hour range because that is where this system is coming up and moving through and what that is doing is making most of our activity to our east right now. So what's happening is that the system's coming in, it's grabbing the smoke, it's pushing it off to the east, but we're not seeing it completely go away. You can tell that it lingers all the way through tomorrow morning, and this is when the showers are supposed to be active. What's happening is this ridge of high pressure is on its way out, and we're getting into this part of the storm and the system tomorrow. That continues on for us into the weekend, and you see things very quickly return to mostly clear and not seen to much of an activity on that satellite and radar. As I mentioned, you can see most of the activity for right now is off to our east with those lightning strikes that have been coming through. It came coming ahead of the rain. There were some dry lightning that was detected, and that's when we see a majority of the possibility for those storms. But the rain has started to follow. We're seeing some come along the Cascades. We haven't had much here yet in Central Oregon, but we're not expecting it to stay that way for very long because you can see by the time we get to 3 a.m. We're really beginning to see the activity activity pick up and come through the region pushes off by the time we get to six. That's when things start to clear out for us as far as the storms go and the rain and the possibility for some thunder and lightning. By the time we get to Saturday at 12 o'clock, the clouds have mostly cleared out. A few should still come back in and out of the region through the weekend, just partly cloudy skies, but not detecting any additional rain activity as that's when that next ridge quickly moves back in after this trough passes through tomorrow. Temperatures are going to take a very quick dip. So here's where we are today. We were still above average, a bit cooler than yesterday. Tonight we stay on the warm side and very similar to where we were last night. Tomorrow when that cold front hits, you'll see our temperatures drop and some parts of the region may not make it out of the 60s. That does not stick around for too long. We do warm just a bit, but it's not until we get through the weekend and that cold front passes and then we see back those upper 70s by Tuesday.